there were many great giant slayers in the history of combat sports. All of these fighters are amazing to study for how to beat bigger opponents. But when it comes to how to fight taller opponents, there are two fighters that come to everybody's mind. Yes, Iron Mike Tyson is one of them, taking over the boxing world by storm like no other fighter has in history. Tyson proved to the world that shorter fighters can dominate the bigger and taller heavyweights. But Tyson wasn't the only fighter of this type in combat sports. In the world of kickboxing, there was another Iron Mike who was knocking everyone out. This Iron Mike didn't capture the world championship just a few times, but an incredible 18 times. And he did it with absolute style too. He fought everyone in the welterweight division, almost always giving up a significant height disadvantage. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we feature how Iron Mike Zambides knocks out countless taller opponents to capture the throne 18 times. Mike Zambides is well known as a knockout artist and a true fan favourite. He can easily knock out championship fighters with his overhands. Even more impressively, despite being much shorter than his opponents, he can jump into the air and knock his opponents out with a scissor knee. But for some reason, many pundits wrote off Zambides as a wild slugger whose power carried him through big fights. But that is simply false. Zambides was able to land various techniques over and over again because he was an aggressive technician. Zambides is happy to exchange shots so he can play the game and knock out better than his opponents. And there's a lot of reasons why he can do it better too. He developed specific skill sets in order to do so. You see, for shorter fighters in the orthodox stance, the rear right hand must be highly developed. It is their great equaliser. The overhands, right hooks, shifting right, and cross counters must all be mastered. You'll tend to find shorter fighters have these attacks in their arsenal, and indeed, all of these attacks are mastered by Zambides. Glitzing right hands must be one of their most developed attacks. This is so that the shorter fighter can use the power to close the range, equalise the distance, and narrow the advantages from their opponent's height and reach. For example, watch how Zambides can dart in from the long range against almost all of his opponents and land that big right hand. The classic way a taller fighter will try to beat a shorter fighter is by using the jab. However, the cross counter is the classic attack over the jab or during the retraction. With the jab often being the most trained attack by taller fighters, a highly developed cross counter will equalize it. If a good cross counter lands, it often means good night. The key is to use the opponent's momentum or stepping in as the jab retracts. Then when they jab, simultaneously slip to the inside and deliver the power right hand. But the right hand alone will make a fighter a one trick pony so a good left hook must also be developed. The power right hand thrown with someone's commitment can only be thrown once before requiring a hard reset. However, Zambidi's left hook helps to prevent the problem of a long reset. If the opponent continues to stand ground or attempt to take space, this is one of Zambidi's go-to combinations, often helping him to regain balance and load another bomb. Something Zambides did better than just about anyone in kickboxing was closing the range and getting on the inside. You see, the taller longer fighter only has an advantage from the outside. But the shorter fighter, assisted by a lower center of gravity, actually has a stronger base to fight on the inside. This means if the shorter fighter can apply pressure and stand ground on the inside, the taller fighter will be in trouble. But sometimes Zambides didn't just blitz in. In fact, sometimes he jumped in with a Superman punch and there was not much his opponents could do about it. While his explosive jumping attacks were a thing of beauty, Zambides also had very technical entries. For example, he could close the distance by defending incoming kicks with a leg raise. This leg raise would help him simultaneously load up the right hand as well. 
Similarly, he would use the inside low kick to set up the right hand. The inside low kick stuns his opponents in place so that he can land his signature attack. It serves as an immobilization attack to set up his real attack. Once on the inside, he would ruthlessly work the body, and it didn't even matter if the opponent could clinch. His punches on the inside had so much power that he would dominate the scoring even if the opponent had a double collar tie. Outside of the clinch though, Zambidi's body work was even more incredible. Being shorter, he had easy and direct access to a big body shot. His opponents would be scared of the left hook to the body and expose their head because of it. Or they would be scared of the left hook to the head and open up the left hook to the liver. The left hook to the liver after the opponent low kicks was one of Zambidi's favourite counters too. It was extremely difficult to defend given the leverage and Zambidi's attributes. During the low kick, their opponents naturally exposed their ribs for Zambidi's body shot, which would not be easily available to a taller fighter. But here's the most awesome part. Zambidis couldn't throw high kicks easily. No problem. He would just hurt them to the body first and finish them with a head kick once they crumbled. But perhaps the most brilliant thing Zambidis does is probably his knee bomb. If the opponent shells up, which often happens due to his thudding punches, he throws a jumping knee which splices their guard. Fight fans, Zambidis was beyond a slugging brawler like so many punished thoughts. As the best piece of evidence, just witness how he flinches the right hand to get his opponents to brace and then throws the perfect jumping knee for goodnight. Recognise greatness when you see it. Iron Mike Zambidis is one of the greatest legends of all time. If you enjoyed this episode, please do watch another episode of Striking Breakdowns. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for keeping our channel alive.